a customer wants to buy a large meeting table as he do not want to take the product right now with him he would just confirm the order and request the sales person to ship them later so this can be managed in odoo let's dive into the pos module under configuration settings we can manage the ship leader option here under the configuration settings of point of sale you could find a section called inventory and under that we can manage allow ship later which allow to sell the products and deliver them later so just enable that and you can see we can manage the product from the warehouse and you can set the default warehouse as well as we can also set the shipping policy so there are two shipping policy which are as soon as possible and when all products are ready so as soon as possible means when a customer places order and we can ship the products later to them by scheduling the date and day and when all products are ready means uh, sometimes the customer may just order for large quantities of product and we may not have sufficient quantity in such cases we must meet the sufficient quantity to deliver the products so if we don't have sufficient quantity of the products the products will be in its waiting state and unless the product is available with the entire quantity that is demanded by the customer so let's see how can we manage this so for that first we have to just uh, save this from the configuration settings and now we are diving into the point of sale so under here uh, in the dashboard you can see the shop and open the session and you can choose the product which is large waiting table so it may take a few seconds to open the uh, yeah dashboard and i mean the shop now you can set the opening cash after that i'm going to open the session and let's search for the product large waiting table Okay, currently uh, we can see large meeting table and you can just lock a customer. So I'm going to lock a customer. Here you need to ensure that you have correctly given the delivery address of the customer. Then only we can just deliver them the product. Okay, so let me choose one of the customer from here. And now I'm going to make the payment for this. So click on payment and you can choose a payment method. And as we have enabled the ship later, from the configuration settings of POS here in the screen, you can see an option of ship later. So once you choose this option and going to validate the process, you can see we can uh, ship them later or we can also schedule a date. Okay, now let me uh, just get back inside and see how we can just deliver that product to the customer. So either you can just go to the back end or you can just close the session and open. So let me go to the um, orders and under that you can see all the orders and we have one uh, order and which is in its yeah paid state and here we can see the picking uh, smart button and when you go get into the speaking uh, smart button you can see that that order is currently ready and we are about to deliver them. So here when I get into this and uh, we can see that the product is currently available and I'm going to validate this process and currently let me set the quantity to deliver this product. So I'm going to validate and I'll be sending a message to, to the customer and we have done with our delivery. Now let's see how can we manage with the ship later with uh, when all products are ready. So for that, you can just go to the configuration settings and let me change uh, the option from shipping policy as when all products are ready. Now let me save the uh, changes and open the session and let's make an order. Okay, let's get into the dashboard and let's continue the selling. And you can search for the product. And I'm again choosing the product large table with I want uh, yeah 50 quantity of large meeting table and let me lock a customer right now here 
and the customer is going to make payment and we can choose a payment method as well as choose a method as ship later. Okay, now I forget to choose the method like uh, ship later and I'm going to validate this. So after validation, just close the session and go to the orders and you can see uh, that that will be in waiting state. So here you can see uh, under the picking, it will be in waiting state as the shop or the business um, marketing shop do not have the sufficient quantity of the shop. So once the stock is done and the demand is about to meet, then you can validate this. So currently we can see that we can only just reserve nine quantities of the product. And in order to deliver this product or ship them later, first we need to enhance the quantity. So let's get into the internal link of the product and let's enhance the quantity of the product. So for that, you can just go to the product and search for the product, which is large meeting table. And we can see in the screen, we have nine quantity in the stock or as on hand. Now we can just update the quantity. So let me update the quantity right now here. And you can set the quantity that you want to update and apply it. And you can set that quantity. Once you set the quantity, you can see the change of the quantity here. We have just updated the quantity as 100. And now when you back to the orders and you can see the change that the under picking, uh, we can just deliver the product. Here now the red color has changed into uh, green color because uh, we have already reserved nine quantity and now we have sufficient quantity to deliver. Now we can check the availability of the product and after that, yes, we have sufficient quantities right now because we have checked the quantities and you can set the quantities that to uh, ship later and now we are going to ship the product to the customer and finally we have 10. So you have thorough with the concept and um, that's all up the, about the topic and thank you for watching the video.